What's going on guys? This is Vishu from Geekstars.info and today we are going to talk about network switches. So networks, a uh, network switch is one of the most common things that you will find in any workplace or any network. The reason being that a network cannot function properly without a switch. That being said, we also need other devices. But switch is like one of the main devices that you will require when you are building a network. The reason behind switch using a switch is because it is kind of an intelligent device. Uh, let me pull up the article I wrote on switch. So we have a visual in front of us while we talk about this. So when the networking actually started, we, we were using a device called hub which is like outdated right now and in the recent ccna exam they also took it out from the syllabus so we switch is always going to be there because switch is like one of the most important devices like i said before so if you see anything like this this is a network switch these are all the ports where you put all the key lan cables like this is how you build a network you as like you attach a computer to this switch assign a number of computers to this switch and this is like a 16 port switch there's also a 48 port switch you can find a 4 port switch and 8 port switch 16 32 and 48 i guess uh, but anyway so you plug in all the lan cables into this and they form a network and as you know if any device wants to communicate with any other device it needs to have an ip address and mac address so ip address basically functions in the level layer 3 of the osi model whereas uh, mac address functions in the layer 2 switch is a layer 2 device that being said there's also layer 3 switch which is like vlans and we are not going to talk about that but the main thing that you need to remember is switch deals with mac address and it is a layer 2 device so how does a network switch works suppose suppose you have a four port switch and you have four computers that are connected to that switch so whenever some data comes from outside the network the first time the switch would send the data to all the devices and only the device which has the authority to take the message will take it and the other three devices will ignore the message what then would happen is the switch would learn the location of that device location like when you talk about location here uh, we are referring to the mac address mac address is also basically known as physical address for the same reason that it is the location of the device so suppose a message comes to computer a so the first time the switch would send it to all the four devices that are connected to it but only computer A will accept the message and the others would discard it. Then switch the switch would know that computer A has a MAC address of this and it will store it in its MAC table. So next time if some message comes for a comp computer A the switch knows where computer A is so what it would do is it will only send the message to computer A instead of sending it to all the other devices that are attached in the network. So this time computer A would respond and it would just send back the response. So this is why switches are like used a lot. Uh, when you compare it with a hub, the hub used to send all the messages to all the devices all the time, which would create a lot of problem when the network is really busy. But what switch does it, is it learns the mac address as it as the network is like kept alive so every time the new message comes in for some other pc it would send it to everyone x and then learn which pc it belong to so this is like the very basic idea of switch there are a lot of things in there that i can't discuss right now because this is like an introduction video but this is what you have to remember the first time a message comes in, the switch sends it to everyone. The one that accepts it, the switch notes down its MAC address and it keeps it in its memory. So the next time the message comes, when message comes for the same device, it would just look in, in the look it in the MAC table and it would just forward it to the respective device. That's it guys. Thank you for watching and keep subscribing.